What's going on everyone? Josh here with For Love of Games. I hope you had a fantastic week and are having a great day so far. In my last video, I shared with you some of the struggles that I was having trying to get the Oculus Link to work on a PC that was running an RX 580 AMD GPU. And it turns out that the latest and greatest driver from AMD was giving me the issue the entire time. 20.12.1 messed up support for the Oculus Link. And in that video, I also share with you that I had a solution of how to roll back the drivers to 20.11.1 so that way you can get the Oculus Link to be working once again. So let's head over to the desktop and I'm going to show you just how you can roll back the drivers the easy way. Let's go. All right, so here we are back in the desktop. And as you can see, we are on the AMD RX 580 driver and support page. Now, the reason why we're here is that I wanted to highlight something with the latest and greatest graphics driver, 20.12.1. If you go down to the release notes here and go down to known issues, it actually states that Oculus Link users may experience intermittent crashes on Polaris and Vegas series graphics products. So this is an issue that AMD is aware of, and they really need to fix this as soon as humanly possible. Now, there is another driver here that I wanted to highlight, and that driver is 20.11.2 in my research for this video i found that a lot of people are having great success with 20.11.2 but there still are some outliers there that it just didn't work with so oculus thing still wasn't working with 20.11.2 but i'm going to show you how to get a known good driver right now hey guys editing josh here so who to thunk it? As soon as I was done editing this video for this week, a subscriber of mine made me aware of a brand new AMD graphics driver that was released on 121.21. And it is aptly named 21.1.1. And lo and behold, if we look at the release notes here, under the fixed issues area, they actually say that Oculus Link users may experience intermittent crashes on Polaris Vega series graphics products has been fixed under the fixed issues tab. So, if you wanted to update to the latest and greatest driver as of right now, you can do so and you shouldn't have any problem with the Oculus Link on your Radeon graphics card anymore. But this video still has a ton of good information in case you ever have to roll back your graphics driver for any other reason. So stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Google machine and we're going to type in AMD driver 20.11.1. And it's going to bring up a bunch of uh, listings here or results. And the first one is what you want to click on. And it brings you to the official AMD Radeon page for 20.11.1. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. And you're going to click on the version you need for whichever operating system you're working on. I'm going to assume that most of you are running Windows 10 64-bit. So click on that, download it, and run the installer. After you download the driver, double click on it to run the installer. Once the installer opens up, select which hard drive or SSD you want it to go to and then select next. Let it install and then you'll be greeted with the AMD Radeon Software Adrenaline 2020 Edition splash screen. And this will check for hardware to make sure that you have a compatible GPU. And then after that, you're going to see 20.11.1 and over to the left, you're going to see additional options. Drop down that additional options menu and select factory reset and then Click install. After you click install, your computer will start installing the Radeon driver itself, and your computer will have to reboot once it's done. After it reboots and it comes back up, it's going to restart the driver itself, so that way it can finish reinstalling. If it does not, you may have to manually restart the AMD driver software in order to finish the installation. After that, it'll have to reboot once again, and then once it reboots and comes back up, you'll be running 20.11.1. And this is how you can check to see if you're running the correct version. You open up the Radeon software suite, you go to general tab, and you'll see Radeon 20.11.1 driver has been installed. Once you have that there, you can enjoy your Oculus Quest once again with the AMD GPU. Oh, and make sure that you actually have the automatic updates turned off, so that way it doesn't automatically update to 20.12.1 by itself. And that's about it. That's how you can roll back your AMD driver to 20.11.1 in the easiest way possible. So that way you can enjoy your Oculus Link with your AMD graphics card. If you found this video useful or helpful in any way, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more from For Love of Games, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so that way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to see even more content from For Love of Games, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. We do VR gameplay, VR how-tos, and just about anything on gaming in general. But until next time, guys, I'm Joshua For Love of Games, signing out. Have a great day.